All right, so this is a very brief video on how to replace the handle on a broken Estate by Whirlpool microwave. I couldn't find any help online about this, and the schematics are less than less than precise as well. So this is a model. What is it? TMH14XMB-0. I should point out that if you use that model number, there are actually two lengths of handles. you got to make sure you get the right handle. I ordered the wrong one first. Appliance Parts Pros was kind enough to replace it with the correct one. So, deal is there's really only three screws that are evident on the door that you can remove. Everything else is concealed. The, the cover on this door is attached by these flanges here that snap into place, and it's a pain in the neck to get it off. Basically, you need a couple of slot-headed screwdrivers. You wedge it in to where the door comes together, and you're going to mar the thing. There's not much you can do about it if you want to fix it instead of replace your microwave. You wedge it in here, and you got to pry it up. You're going to use another screwdriver toward the bottom and pry it up. And you want, what I wound up, wound up doing, because it was already cracked here, and so there was really no strength to pry, I went from the back here, and slid the screwdriver all the way up to about here so I could get it in, wedge it in, and pop it open. Once it pops, then it's no big deal. You just kind of force it apart. And now we can go in and replace the screws. All right. So I wound up taking the handle, I'm sorry, taking the cover off of the door, actually removing the whole cover, which it just came right off, right off as soon as I wedged on it a little bit. And the handle just simply attaches, there's a couple of holes right here where the screws go through. Uh, that's it. So anyway, point being, you can't put the handle on while the cover is actually still on the frame. You have to remove the cover. And here we are, repair job finished. Voila.